Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the cyclomatic complexity. It is a one of the complex metrics in a software world. If you read Wikipedia, they have quite neat and decent explanation how you can actually calculate what is it with a control flow graph explanations. But to be honest, there are a bunch of libraries that uh, is going to calculate cyclomatic complexity on behalf of us, so we don't care in uh, uh, the manually calculates this thing. But instead, we care about implications for software testing. So, in general, you can use cyclomatic complexity number as an indication how uh, good is your code in terms of testability. Or putting it in a simple way, if you have a high cyclomatic complexity number, that means uh, it's hard to test your uh, code or it's hard to fully cover uh, your code. But if you have lower cyclomatic complexity, it's way more easier to fully cover your code with uh, test cases. If you grab this example, so it has, uh, the Wikipedia states that the cyclomatic complex of the program is three here, but we understand that we need at least four test cases to fully cover this code. There is a wonderful library for the pointing the guys called Raiden. So if you go ahead and pip install Raiden and read their documentation, they have this nice introduction to code metrics. And this sentence is an important section in this documentation. So this number, the Maccabi number or cyclomatic complex number can be used as a guide when testing conditional logic in blocks. And here they are giving some kind of uh, explanation which construct or which code block adds one or zero to the complexity. And this is a this is for your consideration. I'm going to put all these links uh, below the video description. I prepared a, a sample code example for you, and we are going to show uh, uh, through this code by refactoring this step by step in order to achieve some uh, state of the clean code what we have here this fetch image just ignore this self things because i've just grabbed it from the class this fetch image has the if then elif and else class as usual and it has this an extra nested if then try accept block the elif section uh, was constructed with bunch of if elif and else uh, block and then uh, we are rising the exception if we didn't get any of this kind of code portions. And if we call this Raiden CC, then main point and dash S, it's going to show the level and the complex number. So the complex number is 11 for our fetch image function. That means that effectively we need 12 or 13 uh, test cases to full, fully cover our uh, fetch image function. The first attempt on um, the first attempt on um, uh, refactoring this I prepared here is just extract out. Let me just open this slide. Just extract out this section to the outside function. We just uh, return the image in a try except else class if nothing wrong happened it's going to return back this mm, image and we get the image as a variable so simple enough but yet powerful so we can calculate uh, mm, uh, cyclomatic complexity now and fetch image uh, the cyclomatic complex the number lowered down from 11 to 9 that means that we are in a good way. The second attempt, the third attempt on uh, refactoring this section is the obvious. As the obvious one, we, we need to get rid of this um, 
if, l, if, and else clauses. I'm going to uh, just open to the side. So let's see what's going on there. What I've created here is that first if just remained uh, inside the function. I didn't touch it because it's returning directly. And what I did is uh, extracted us as elif and else class to the uh, auto function. And instead of using if else things, I just created the default dict with default factory of creating the lambda functions. It's just going to uh, uh, return back as a value callable, which is going to convert to the RGB. And then uh, after creating the default dict, I've added the PNG uh, to the to this uh, dictionary and return back uh, the, uh, and called and returned back the result. So what we have achieved here, the else clause effectively is the default text default factory here. And if PNG is this if PNG is equal to the key with a, a convert AGBA function. Quite neat. We get rid of this um, elif else with just one uh, single default dict usage. Uh, just just check out this default dict and also other things from the collections in the library. They are way more powerful. And what we can check here is again this um, mathematical complexity. Now we get from nine to the eight. And if you notice that convert RGB or edge or RGBA, the complexity is one because there is no nested blocks, no ifs, no for loops and anything else. And that means that you need at least two test cases to test uh, this code. One for the default and second for the PNG. Uh, that's quite understandable. Isn't it? Yes. And the next step is, um, I guess, to get rid of this else uh, section and write the exception right away. So what I did here, first of all, I just renamed the previous function um, convert to RGB or RGBA. Instead, I renamed it and uh, named it as get image converted to RGB or RGBA. So namings are important things in a, in the programming. So just keep this in your mind. And I'm returning this. Uh, uh, the second is to get, you know, in order to get rid of this else and rise the exception, this else class, we can just return this uh, get opened image and also return this get image converted to RGB, RGBA function directly. This means that if we can get rid of this portion effectively, and what we did is here, it's exactly this thing. We have renamed the function, we get rid of um, the else class, and we can check, uh, we can check the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. The cyclomatic complexity um, is still eight. Because else class is adding the zero to the uh, this Maccabi number, so I call that complexity number. And if you just eliminate zero, that means that has nothing changed. The next step is here. If you see this code, we are returning twice here. That means that we can eliminate this if statement and indeed uh, return directly from this get image converted uh, function which is exactly uh, what we did here. What I have achieved here, uh, I just add this GIF key to the dictionary and returning and return back this uh, callable directly as a source image. So returning source image, that means that Lambda is just no conversion. It's just uh, returning back the source image. And uh, we have this, again, the dictionary, this default dict and returning back the GIF section. That means that we get rid of this extra if and it effectively 
Uh, what we've done is a cyclomatic complexity from eight to seven. That's a good, um, good goal. So let's just compare our final chord with uh, the original one. No nested if try except. No nested if elif else. No else. Just clean and neat uh, chord portion, which is require uh, some kind of seven or eight test cases to fully cover. But it's not only related to the fetch eye image. The coverage here is lowered down with get opened eye image. It's four. It's one for get eye image converted to RGB or RGBA section. So this is a quite um, uh, decent state of the clean code you can achieve by seeing your metric. So if you can measure something, then you can tweak it. This is how cyclomatic complexity can affect your code and the thinking of your way of testability, how to increase your code testability. That's it for now, and uh, see you in the next videos. Bye.